this is the face that you that you see when uh, when a guy finds out that his battery in his truck that he just replaced was 13 years old <laughs> I want to share with all of you a little something I learned the hard way on this uh, on my truck it doesn't matter what truck I'm, I happen to be working on my 88 Chevy but uh, this would go with any vehicle car truck motorcycle whatever if you're running a gel cell battery so uh, let me flip this camera around and I'll show you what was going on so I was having trouble starting the uh, engine after cleaning out the uh, throttle body injector I had flooded the engine so I was cranking on it uh, you know several seconds at a time giving it a break um, cranking on it some more and all of a sudden the starter just stopped I mean like nothing right so um, I went and put a uh, put a battery charger on my gel cell that I had in there and it charged for a few minutes and said 100% good to go so I'm like well heck man what you know what's going on and, and I came back in here I said look for a breaker I look for a fuse I look for uh, I looked in all the you know there's a fuse box down here I, all, they were all good I tested them with a meter I tested the battery with them with the uh uh, multimeter red fine I tested all the fuses with a with the ohm meter they were fine uh, there's another um, uh, relay box it's covered up inside the engine housing under here pulled that looked under that looked everywhere I could find to look for a fusible link that's what I thought was maybe the problem because I mean it was, there was nothing no click, no nothing. I had dash lights, and um, that was it. As soon as you cut the key on, everything died. And when you turn it, turn the key, you know, back to the on position, everything would come back on. So I'm like, man, this just doesn't make sense. So uh, I I ended up pulling the starter, thinking, you know, maybe I burned this thing up. It was a rebuilt starter put on about a year ago. Pulled it, took it to town, had it tested. They said nothing's wrong. And um, when I came back, you know, I had the I had the battery hooked up, and I noticed that when I cut my headlights on, my little buzzer down here that reminds me of my headlights are on was making a weird noise. And I kind of flicked at it, thumped it, and finally got it to come on. And I'm like, well. The, the, the voltage is low that's the only way that that you know there's something wrong with the voltage you know some somewhere there's a voltage issue so I um, I'll play with that later I cut the uh, the, the radio on and it was making some weird noises uh, and I cut the the uh, fans on and they were just barely where I'm like all right so th there's a voltage issue even though I had you know volt i had good voltage well over 12 volts in the battery the smart charger even told me that the battery was good 100 fully charged and still does 12.4 volts okay so this is a load tester all right so just because you have 12 13 volts whatever does not mean that your voltage that your battery is any good all right you can pick up one of these load testers at your local auto parts place or amazon or whatever they don't cost that much and um they will help you determine what's going on so this is basically a voltmeter and it's telling us we got about 13 volts Once you put the load on it, 
this is the switch that turns the load on which is basically a bunch of coils in here like a toaster it turns this thing into a toaster it should not fall out of this green area and you can hold that for like 10 15 seconds and it should stay there when you let go of the switch it should pop back up to the normal you know voltage watch this sucker boom drops right down to like less than two volts let it go comes right back up 12 13 falls right out 11 12 13 isn't that something so i'm going to go replace this i'm i'm probably going to put another optima battery in it and here's why this this battery i picked this battery up used back around 09 i think it could have been 2000 i retired i'm, I'm sorry 2010 could have been 2010 but um i retired in 07 went to work for a rental service corporation rsc equipment rental a guy came in and he said i want a new battery on my piece of equipment and i went out there and i and i looked at the uh piece of equipment and i said well you know the battery that's in there is good we tested it he said i don't care it's a few years old and i want it replaced because i can't afford downtime this is a like a construction company foreman or whatever i said okay so i took the battery out replaced it and took that battery home and it spent several years on my dad's gravely tractor you guys that have watched all my videos have seen this battery on the old tractor and then it went to my dad's uh, old truck you know and that truck stayed in the shop tore apart for several years before we got it together this you know I, i'm gonna ask the people that i go buy this replacement from how old this battery is and maybe they can tell but you know i really want to know because <laughs> we can't really tell for sure i mean there's a zero knocked out of that but look that this i don't think this battery is 18 years old but uh we'll see but the moral of the story check your battery don't just check the voltage put a load on it put a load on it this lies <laughs> voltage meters lie load does not have a good one